You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Hannibal After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Hannibal After Show. Welcome to the Hannibal After Buzz mm. After Show. I music. am uh, Joe Braswell, as usual, and I'm joined by uh, the lovely Julie Kearley. Hello, I am so giddy. We're all so happy. <laughs> so excited. Uh, and I'm also joined by the lovely Mando Velasquez. Uh, thank you. Very much. I'm so glad I'm not sitting where you're at. Mm. Actually, <laughs> and I'm also joined who missed last week. Oh. So so conspicuously absent last week. I I was Mr. I was Joe at, Sanfilippo. I was at a funeral. Uh -huh. I I don't know. Yes. 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 So uh, we, we have a bet. I believe we have a bet. Right? We had a bet. Uh, and and I, I picked out something nice. We all talked about it. Some mm. folks, some people who waited on YouTube. I believe you have it on right this very I, second. I I do. Yeah. I am currently wearing. Let's 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 see let's it. See it. <laughs> oh, there. Brad didn't even want to wait for the cue. She yeah. just started the music. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. Okay. Wait for it. Wait, wait. The best part's coming, I guess. Uh, oh. Uh, yes. Yes, there you go. Do a little airplane spin. Should I, should I do a little something? Yeah, a little something. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. There you go. Woo! There he is. So, for those of you who are not watching on oh, YouTube. You oh, you want to be watching. Oh, you are uh, so fast. You might not Something want to be watching. I think, I think I'm blushing. I want to describe, I'll describe this. So, so for uh, those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know, um, who maybe listen to it for this the is, uh, first This is a new low. Joseph Lugo and I had a bet as to whether or not, this essentially... Is, this is unbelievably low. Essentially, whether, whether or not Will was and Jack were in on a deep, uh, deep, deep cover operation against Hannibal. Uh, it turns out I was right. Joe was you were wrong. right. Really, the question was, was Freddie still alive? It was, was Freddie Freddy Lounge still alive. alive is the question, was the question, the yes. question remains, and now... Here I if I had if I had boobs I swear yes. I, this would be scandalous. That's that's adorable. So, <laughs> look at this. This is I would I'm be. Looking. I can't. I can't not look. If you're not watching on YouTube, Joe's wearing a yellow, a very sweet yellow. What would you What would ruffling. you call this? We're gonna take some photos. Yeah, I wish you would. Send something? me something. I don't know. that out right now. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. So uh, what What do you call this particular item of clothing, Julia? What is this? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's there's some nice ruffles. Uh, uh, it's a nice tank top. It's a hot day out. A deep V going on. <laughs> it's a deep. More of a deep U. It's a deep U. Okay. Deep you, which reveals a tremendous amount of yes. fur. <laughs> so, uh, and so for those of you who are interested, you could buy that at uh, mm. Joseph, big Joseph, tall, Joseph Sam big and tall men. Oh, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. okay. Well, uh, that's lovely. I, I'm, I'm happy we got to do that. Pretty I love how I, I wasn't arms, on the back. looking pretty good, buddy. Okay, listen, yeah. listen. Here, you're working there's, out, right? there's no you way. What'd you do? There's no way to wear a woman's ca camisole. What is this thing, Roy? What do you it's think? A tank top. What it? Great. Well, on just, you the entire time. There's there's zero way to make this look good. There's I okay. I don't think there's a possibility. And you didn't you didn't follow my advice. You didn't wax. No, I'm never waxing. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> full, look at the not even a little look handsy. At the, wait, wait, look at the amount of pain that would be involved. <laughs> This, each one would uh, be a tiny rip through my soul. That's beautiful. millions of rips through my soul. Can we talk about the show? Because this is yes. Uh, so sure. those of you who don't care about this, uh, we'll, we'll, all tweet, we'll all tweet it out. We'll put it everywhere, and uh, mm. you can watch us on YouTube on the after, on the after Buzz Hannibal YouTube. Page You're welcome, to Internet. The oh. show, uh, San Filippo. Um, Anyway, Joe. Yeah. How are you doing, bud? Oh, I'm. 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 You I'm know, it's gonna be distracted. hard to take. It's gonna be hard to take you seriously at all this hour. Just yeah. So any, yeah. Any of your theories? Just so you know. Sorry, right, I'm not sure. gonna have any theories this what was, hour. What was the name of this episode, Joe? Uh, hold on, I'll tell you right now. Please it do. was um, to, uh, Tome Wan. Tome Wan. Do, do you know? And what that is a miso-based or vegetable uh -huh. soup served with rice yes. by mm -hmm. someone in a yellow tank top filled with ruffles. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Ruffles. So, so Ruffles. So like the ones on your, ar like your arms. So we had a, 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 a crazy episode, like, ish happened. 
Like it went down. Like it really went down this episode. I, would, I was telling Julia, um, we're talking about this off air. This might be one of the goriest episodes. This might be in all, in all of the goriness of, of I don't know, um, 26 episodes of Hannibal, 25 episodes of Hannibal. This might be the gross, the goriest one I've seen. I, I think what know. made it so disturbing, I feel like we've seen some major gore on this show. Like yes. People, uh, in, the, in the very beginning of this season, the guy ripping himself There's away that. from the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. spiral mural. Yeah. That was very upsetting to me. This too was very upsetting, and what made it more upsetting was the veil of humor that surrounded it. Oh, that, yeah. that Mason was, the joy and glee that he was experiencing very made it joker really chilling. What, very what joker first thing I thought. Yeah. Yes. What do we suppose he gave him? What was the uh, what was the the drug that that induced him to chop his face to pieces? I don't know, but I don't, I, I don't want to. I don't want to know. know. I don't want to play. <laughs> Maybe small, how, how do you guys Maybe how do you guys stand that this is freezing cold? Everything is cold when you're wearing something like this. I don't know. If, just just a little FYI, guys. If you've never worn women's clothing, right. which I haven't, this they're, is cold. They're uh, they, they were bras. Is it nipply? Do you have? Uh, I'm getting a little cold, man. <laughs> 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 is, is, is it nipply? <laughs> It's cold chills. <laughs> it's cold. Um, uh, so yeah. So uh, no. I and seriously. The um, yeah. The, 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 I don't know what that stuff was, but it, it, it looked like fun. Until it looked PCP mixed with Hannibal's own personal fun. He was having a I blast. mean, he was having a grand oh. old time, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. You're gonna like, cut your face off. At least do it and, and, under and, that and, and, and eat it. Well, you know. Listen. So let's let's go back. So it also but the beginning of the show. Uh, we did have, so we finally had our reveal. We had our big conversation between Jack and uh, and Will, sort of like the the confirmation conversation that sort of says, okay, yes, this is what we're doing. This is what we're trying to do. This is this is what we are up to. Um, and where Jack is like, I'm really out on a limb here, and you know, and mm-hmm. you, you killed a guy, and you posed a guy, and all sorts okay. of stuff. So, so, and you were right about him posing him. I, I, I did say that. Uh, Hannibal and him posed together. That wasn't included in our bet, as I clarified, though. Just, just, just. I, 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 I've given up trying to argue with you about it. That's right. And I, I will give props to Steve Lemieux, who was right. Steve, mm-hmm. Steve, Steve Lemieux did say we were both wrong, and and, and that's fine. But uh, we're going back. We did see that at the very top of the show, uh, we had that we had the. Uh, we had our, our dream sequence, but it was done a little differently this time. We had our, our dream sequence. He was of, induced to dream. He was asked to dream. He was asked to sort of imagine. And that scene itself was as gory as anything as I, I'd seen. And it was so, it was it was sexual. I mean, it was sexual. It was gory. It was gross. It was, it was, it was incredible. I don't know what to make of that Well, scene. just imagine, I mean, uh, from this opening scene, I mean, first of all, this is the first week that we don't open up with a dream sequence. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the past couple have been Kinda. sexual. No, well, I mean, we open up, first of all, with the with the two of them uh, in, a, in a session. But it's kind of like you're fantasizing about this person, and then next thing you know, you're with this person, and they're asking you to fantasize. Yeah. And, and you know, and what was really interesting about that scene, too, is, I, well, Hannibal was asking him to fantasize on how Mason would bite it. On how Mason, what would happen, what he wants to happen, and instead we see a foreshadowing of Hannibal up on that hook, and what was that? Yeah. Uh, Hannibal up on that hook, Will um, cutting his throat and pushing him down to the pigs, right. and then when they go back to Will, Hannibal asks him, "What do you, what, do, what do you see?" And he just smiled. smiled. And, and so did I Hannibal, loved- though. Hannibal <laughs> smiled too. Do you think he knew? Yeah, I think he knew. he knew. Yeah, he and knew. So it's, it's, it's exactly what uh, you know. Um, Bedelia, Bedelia said. De mm. Bedelia. Closer and closer. I got the Bedelia part right. Bedelia. That's yes. yes. you. Du Maurier. De Maurier. She said that basically. Yes. She, she essentially said, if you if Hannibal, if you think you're about to catch Hannibal, because Hannibal, because he wants you to think, he wants you to think. Yeah. He's always in control. But the other thing that was cool. The other the other line that was cool right before he asked him the dream was when Hannibal asked him if he wanted to join him at the table. And Will had that great line, but it was pretty much a non-answer. He said that Mason Berger is a pig, and he deserves to be somebody's bacon. Which was, in a way, his way of saying, maybe I, I... could be in your table, but he never said he would join his Which table. But up, nobody ever answers thought. a question. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. all vagary, That's as true. he says, but he's playing the same game. They he's both playing. are. They're both playing with these vagaries. What did you like about that the opening sequence? Oh, just just one little moment that stuck out to me, because I watched this episode twice, and it stuck out both times. When he has that fantasy of slitting Hannibal's throat and pushing him out to the pigs, and he opens up his eyes, and you know the music. The music in this, um, mm. in this uh, mm. show is so, um, I don't know, how would you describe it? 
I, I, so, I sometimes think it's actually over the top. I oh, sometimes do you really? I do. I, there are times I think like they should peel it back a tick because it's too much. Well, yeah. I loved in that moment when he opened his eyes. There was this little almost Disney-ish kind of music just for a moment that flittered. He did a little flittering. He had just like a little crack of a smile, sure. and then he had a little crack of a smile, and I just loved. For, I loved that transition in the music and the mood. You know, the pacing of this, the, the pacing of these last few episodes has been like really just. Just almost to a screeching halt. It's been so deliberate and so slow, mm. and it sort of really draws us in. It makes us hang on every word, yeah. every music cue, every shadow, every eyebrow raise of Hannibal, whatever's happening. And I think it's fantastic. Uh, so I, I agree with you. I just thought that that sequence when he opened his throat and the slow motion, like you know, spray mm. of the blood, and Will's like all around. <laughs> oh my god. That that happened, Nando. I don't don't talk talk to uh Michael Reimer and David Fuller on that one. Like that happened. And I thought like It was more your interpretation of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was bodily fluids. You guys should make a bet. I'll give this. I'll give this shirt up anytime. I'm not gonna mention. Anyway, don't bother me for a second. <laughs> I didn't say he was wrong. I just no, said it's it it the way he did it. Yeah. So it's no, but that. I mean, like, we'll, 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 that, that whole that whole sort of he felt a lot of joy opening that throat and 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 having that that spray blood spray on his face. But then he gets the opportunity to do it and uh, doesn't well, pull no, the trigger. He, was, he wasn't he was never going to do it again. It's a fantasy. It was, he wasn't going to act on it. You, uh, how also, many people are offered <laughs> complete fantasy fulfillment of a, of a particular specific type of murder? Right. I mean that's that's pretty specific, right? Well, you're offered, you offered uh, fantasy for fulfillment on something you like to wear today. <laughs> Apparently, I, I helped you out. Uh, you look took, it took me hours to not pick this out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but, but I also did love. I do love these conversations. You mentioned the conversation between Hannibal and Will about this sort of round the houses, not through the barn. Um, you know, conversation about. Well, would you? Would you like to eat them? Well, I would eat someone if it weren't the person who I wasn't going to eat. If you weren't real rude, <laughs> hmm. well, I would eat that person too if I wasn't you or if you weren't me. It's like, say it, somebody say it. And it was just really, but yeah, the whole. Um, it, it's like Will. I felt like that Hannibal pretty much has admitted that he that he would do this or wants to do this. But again, rewinding that conversation, he, there's no there's no admission at all. And so it's what Will tells tells Jack is like, look, he it's all vagaries. Mm -hmm. Like it's all he's giving me nothing. He's giving me nothing. It's all like innuendos and vagaries, and and it's not enough for us to, for me to like pull out the cuffs and then flash my badge. And so until he gives me something, and unfortunately, you know, as we know later, he still doesn't give him anything. Nope. He still doesn't Never. give him anything. He hasn't mm. killed anybody, you know, yet in front of Will's presence. I mean, he's, you know, so anyway. But that's still a crime, what he's done. But it's not the crime. It's not the crime. And Will, and not Will what is he in deep cover. And Will, and, Will, and Will is complicit because Will is there complicit <laughs> in complete deep cover. So, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. enough to bust Hannibal on. Like the whole operation, you know, like he, where does he put the cuffs on Hannibal? Do? At what point? You know, this, this uh, we act like Hannah will be like, oh, you got cuffs? Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, I mean, guess. You, you saw that move he did on those Italian gangsters. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's he, awesome. He, got oh, some born identity. he did some born identity ish on them. He's like, okay, his little scalpel ready. Oh, that was, the scalpel. <laughs> that was good <laughs> stuff. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, shouldn't yeah, have done that. One of my favorite moments of Mads in this whole, in this whole show is when he goes, shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> he pulls it out. Oh. <laughs> Spray. <laughs> yeah, and Matt's had some. His had, Matt's had some zingers in this one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and we'll had some zingers. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, and I just enjoyed the heck out of that. And I, I was thinking in terms of the uh, the 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 knife. Uh, we we're talking about ha about Mads getting some zingers. That that moment when uh, when Mason is, is stabbing well, yeah, the knife. To that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's so you know. So we get so we went through the opening sequence. We get to Jack, and we, we get the reveal of Jack and, and 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 Will talking it out, and then we get to see Mason make the visit to Hannibal, which which we talked about last week. I love. You know the subtleties of just you know Mason being completely rude and obnoxious so in the presence rude. of Hannibal, and Hannibal really not flinching at all. And it just occurred to me that you know Mads plays Hannibal so, in, in such a very specific way. I can't even imagine this this man who's capable of such incredible violence and, and horrible things. I can't even imagine this guy raising his voice. Can you imagine Hannibal screaming at someone the way Mads plays oh, no, him? Never. Like it's, no. it's it, a guy who does who's who's capable of such horrendous things and does the most horrific things to people. So in that moment. Moment when Mason's in the office, and the first thing he does is he plops at, at behind Hannibal's desk, mm. which Hannibal's like, mm. <laughs> then he kicks his boots on the, he kicks his feet up on the desk, like and Hannibal's like, mm. <laughs> and then he sits so on his chair and then starts like. Stabbing it. Stabbing it. Uh, no, Hannibal's mouth literally dropped. It was beautiful. It was so subtle. <laughs> just, his mouth is just like. 
I can't believe the degree of a hole that you have achieved in my office. I was, it was, and then it, at one point he's almost bemused by it. Like he's like, I know yeah. you're you're trying to piss me off, but yeah. I think in that I'm moment going when to he do does you. become bemused, as you say, is that moment when he decides how he's going to kill him or how he's. Do you going think that's it? You think that's what or, happened? Right. I think mm. that is. He his figured out the point recipe. Where he goes, okay, there it is. I was like, I got you. Please, now. he continue. picked it. Yeah, please, exactly. Yeah. He exactly. picked out a pan. Can't wait to see what you right. do next. I got you. It was, and so that that was very. Very, I, mean, I, just, I just wanted Hannibal to just lose it or yell. I realized that that's never going to happen. Gonna happen. No. Well, Will, says it, Will even says it later on to Jack that you know he has this quality, this, this characteristic that he wishes more people had. Although right. although uh, Hannibal has a little much of it, I believe that I'm paraphrasing it really badly. Right. But uh, I think it, it's to his calm demeanor. Yeah. You and know, it's something, it's something that him. this was one of the things that Will sort of admires about Hannibal. Yeah. There is a true admiration there. So I wanted to, I mean, before sort of recapping, I just want to touch on some of these themes here because. I really want to talk about the the will. We got to the will and Jack situation, like so they they know, like you know, they're. I, I'm wondering how far Jack is willing to let Will go to catch Hannibal. Well, know? obviously, pretty darn far. He tells him that that you know he, that he's trying to manipulate me into killing a man named Mason Verger, but I'm pretty right. sure I can manipulate him into killing Mason Verger. Right. And then when he tries to do it, they'll ha you'll have two witnesses. And and uh, wait, that and then Jack says, "Well, maybe well, you'll three. have three. I'm a good fisherman too. He'll yeah, right. be there too." But wh yeah. Why would you let him give him so much rope? That seems extremely dangerous. Well, I mean, they had this conversation. I mean, once once they got. I mean, look, if you go through as we've gone through, which is 25 hours of watching uh, the Chesapeake Re Ripper and Hannibal do all those crazy things from total from all these different things he's done. Um, you know, Jack's like, we're dealing with someone who is, who eludes us. He's way, way, way smarter than us. So we've got to go deep and let Will loose on him and go as deep as we can. I understand why Jack is committed to letting Will do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. I get that part. Uh, and then they even gave us the clues earlier earlier in the season, in that scene they flash back to, when he says, you know, you um, hook him, I'll... I'll, 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 you hook, no. I'll, I'll, reel I'll reel him in. I'll reel, you hook him, I'll yeah, reel you're him right. in or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so that that was it. I knew. Yeah, but we saw in season one how far Jack is willing to sacrifice Will's sanity. In season one, he yeah. even though he was breaking down right in front of him, he was still thrusting yeah, him into right. these awful situations that broke him down more and more each time. And you're right. So now this is just another level of it. Right. And so it's really interesting to see like where where Jack. I just want to just for a second touch on Jack's perspective here because. He has been through the ringer with Will, right? He's gone back and forth. He's seen Miriam Lask die. He's seen um, uh, uh, um, cats, Beverly Cats die. Uh, he's he's seen Will go, be, be accused of, of murder, come back. Like I feel like the, he, Jack is the man who's really who has seen it all, but still is open to any possibility. Which is why when Doctor um, Bedelia 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 Bedelia. Bedelia. I love my kid. <laughs> this Bedelia. is your job. I keep, I'm like Rebecca I'm good for something. Right? So I say Rebecca DeMornay, no. When, when Dr. Bedelia come, uh, has that conversation with him, sort of saying like, are you sure you know, basically saying like, you think you got Will under control, you think Will and Hannibal, you don't know what the hell's going on, Jack. And it really, thinks, it really got, gets Jack thinking. And then so that translates into that conversation that Jack has with uh, Hannibal, another one of those triple entendre, quadruple entendre situations where he's like, you know, um, the, the conversation about the the prey and the hunting and the and who's and who's eating whom and you know and all that. That was really um, I, I, I can't find my notes on the exact quotes on there, but that conversation really was telling and also said a lot without saying anything. J Jack completely stated his intentions, as did Hannibal, as, but at the same time, they're both friends, sort of talking to each other. And it makes me wonder, like, I don't know, what's Jack really think? I mean, who, does Jack know what to think? Do you think Jack is still sort of like on top of this thing? Or is Jack like sort Jack's of- Jack's never been on top of this thing. <laughs> Yeah. Ever. I think the only person that he's ever committed to is Will. Right. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll go one step further. I think if Lawrence Fishburne wasn't playing it, I think we'd have we'd have a lot, lot, more, lot more interesting discussions about Jack. I think Lawrence Fishburne brings such an authority and such a physical presence and such a, such a, a vocal presence that we, we, instant, we, we just because it's him, we give Jack more credit than he maybe do. Right. Because I mean, I I think if it was a lesser, it was a, an actor with lesser stature, lesser presence, I think we'd be like, "What the hell's Jack doing?" Right. But it's Lawrence, so we go, oh, it's, you, know, "You got it. He's, He's got, got it." Know. You know? Yeah, I, I agree. I don't know. What, what, do, you, what do you think of Jack's? Uh, do you have any thoughts on Jack right this very moment? I mean, well, I, he, as of right now, he seems to be at least more involved. But that's it. 
he has no. Uh, he says he's a good fisherman, but like we like we said, he's pretty much let the let the cast out really really far yeah. in letting Will let, do whatever. And I still don't think he's in control. And we'll see. Well, I mean, look, we we know what happens next week. We even saw we it do. in the in the in the clip uh, in, in, for next week's show, and we saw it from episode one. This is not a man who's in control. And also, we will also find out that I mean, he he actually is going to have that conversation with Hannibal. He is going to get a, a what looks like a potentially fatal injury. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, for him to go in there and 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 do that scene. Right. That that's not a man who's in control who's ready to arrest Hannibal. It's a right. man who's pissed off about something. He's still not in, you know, which, he's still in the dark. Which begs a question, you know, which we can we can talk about news and gossip, but you know, um I think I think this you know will or will Jack Crawford live or die is is a big question because we do know in the real world that uh, Lawrence Fishburne is did his his show that he's executive producing with Anthony Anderson called Blackish, which is sort of a modern family. That, you know, we'll call it the Black Modern Family, but that got picked up by ABC. That's going. He's in that. He's an executive mm-hmm. producer on that. Mm. So that did get picked up. So industry like, wise, that's a pretty big clue a, as to his fate. Well, maybe, maybe not. I mean, it, 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 we have uh, we have all sorts of characters who are on different shows. Well, th- that, yeah. This, this show have, does really accommodate. Like, yeah, you know. accommodate. Well, who's also on Veep? We have Badil- uh, We have uh, uh, Jillian Anderson. Right. Has two shows that she's, she's doing. She's going on two right now. I mean, the, the landscape has changed in terms of the way. It's not as, not as black and white as it used to be. He may not of... have as big of a presence in the next sure. season, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we should write him off. Exactly. Well, but but this is a character that should be should have a big presence on Hannibal. Well, in, well, in the in the in the you know in the uh, well, who do Thomas they re- Harris universe in the Tom Harris universe he is throughout the right. whole thing. Yeah. He's but going anywhere. We've well, already we shown that, that yeah. It, that may, that may or may not matter. Brian Fuller is just uh, he's, he's apparently with Freddie Lowndes, we we intend to keep her around a little bit longer than I thought. It, it, but it'll, it's interesting to find out. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And we know from other shows, Joe the Americans, what happened with uh, you know Margot Martindale's character, who's wonderful. Who sometimes when you don't lock a, uh, someone up, then they go to another show, like the Miller. They go to another project, and then and then you can get them when forth, you can get them. Yeah. And so it may be that. So we'll see. But I just wanted to bring up Paul Jack's situation. But I wanted to also to touch on Will and Hannibal in this relationship here because this um, this. This bromance slash romance, I'll just say it, is like, it's really, there's a there's a definite mutual admiration situation going on here. And there's that moment, and there's that, there's multiple conversations we have between these two. And the, 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 the most telling one for me is, is the middle one after um, Will talks to Jack and, 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 and Dr. Bedelia. And Hannibal and Will have this conversation, and it feels like at that moment that Hannibal's kind of on to Will. When Will is saying, like, Hannibal says, you know, you, you do a good job of putting yourself in my position, but I put myself in yours yeah. too. And it just it just makes me feel like Hannibal does know what's happening. And but they it's but there's sort of like this feeling of we're in this together and we want I want I can't do this without you. And here we are. And all those references to uh Achilles. Uh, and yeah, but, oh, which oh. is a good yeah, which is that good was, stuff. Yeah, that, that was, was good. great. And it was like, look, you know, uh and, and I mean who's I mean, Hannibal is Achilles, like, you know, in that in that sense. And maybe he has one weakness. Maybe it's you know, I, I like the idea of that analogy being played out. But this relationship, I mean, I, I'm really, really torn as to you know, I know Will ultimately is in it to get Hannibal and see Hannibal taken out, but I am actually really torn as to where you know uh, what Will's feelings are toward Hannibal. So it goes back to the moment where he had the gun to his head and he goes, "I want to see how this plays out." It feels like every time he has an opportunity to really kill Hannibal or take him out or something, there's another moment where he wants to see this thing play out. Well, yeah, and that, and that I, I would, I would argue that it happened again this episode. I mean, hey, you know, he had an opportunity to end all this, and he chose not to. Yes. And 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 again, that's you know, call it what you will, but he's picking a winner. He decided that it's better uh, to try and get Hannibal and let whatever's going to happen to Mason Verger and the Sardinians happen to him, and let the chips fall where they may. So, I mean, I, you know, it, it, it's it's so interesting to me because he really has become so much more gray of a character. Than in the you're beginning. You're back on the gray. I, yeah. I'm st- I've never left the gray. I mean, I'm <laughs> wearing the yellow, but I, but, I'm, <laughs> but I, I have not backed off the gray. I think Thank he you. has a very, very specific and solid end game, and he doesn't care what he has to do to get there. And the end game is to prove that Hannibal has always been the Chesapeake River Ripper. And right. if he kills him just like that and feeds to the pigs, he's gone. And so exactly. is his theory, and nobody ever knows the truth. Except no, I for get him. it. I get it all. Nando, any thoughts on any of that? Mm-hmm. No, I think. I know. Thank you, by the way. I I think uh, no, but I agree. It's yeah, Robin no Gibbs today. Well, no, 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 I don't. No. <laughs> in that, <laughs> no. in that moment, no, I think that it, you know where he takes the moment. We could. I think when he frees Hannibal, 
his his intention is to let Hannibal uh -huh. kill. He wants Hannibal to kill Mason. Right? He has mm -hmm. to have him. He has kill to him. have him That's kill the Mason. Plan. So he is he's gonna free him and he'll let Hannibal do his crazy uh, karate. His super whatever born identity karate and get out of it <laughs> as as he did. As he did. That's a lot of confidence, by the way. Like if I can just free Hannibal, I know he'll take all these three guys out. Like really? Well, we were, we've been talking a lot about their secret language that they have when they're looking at murder scenes, and I think that they had that secret language again, only unspoken when he. So was. you're saying there was unspoken, fum, fum, between the two of them. Pretty much. I got you. There was yeah. pendulum. I mean, they shared pendulum. He's. I mean, Hannibal even said we understand each other's state of mind. I got you. Yeah. And we are just alike. You can deceive so, me, I can be deceived, so by, was a move? I can deceive yeah. you. Was but like a I Batman think, and Robin move? I think that was so. it, I think right? they were like in tune. Right, okay. Because that now, was... Now, now you said that I'm picturing. No, Robin. Right, I'm picturing. I'm picturing. <laughs> I'm picturing Mads in the old 1960s Bat Batman outfit. Yes. It's, it's good stuff. It's, it's good stuff. You're enjoying yeah. that. I could just reach the Tor bat. You, know, you got like a tormented Robin. <laughs> well, Will, we will reach a point of Jimmy Dejelicus. There. Huh? What? <laughs> Batman reference. You know. Oh yes, yes, yes. I thought it was Roy back there. I took. No, I was like, like Roy. Like, what, what, happened? what happened to her voice? Yeah. <laughs> she sounds great. Um, so yeah, so that that moment, and so he does make the move and does and does take out everyone, and and we'll we, we can talk about what happens there. But uh, it also might up Hannibal's trust of Will. Take that to another level, right? And he's thinking if he's not, if he's going to kill Mason, or if he's not, at least like we can move forward with this, and this is another level of honesty. Wait, so, so well, that's a huge risk for Will to take. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. and no, it's like, it's a little move, screwed up. Uh, what if Hannibal like doesn't get out in time? Hannibal <laughs> always gets out. <laughs> what in time. If, and then we'll get knocked unconscious. And, and even if it worked, even if it worked out perfectly, but at that point, an FBI agent. Or, or 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 special what what is he now what's his designation I don't remember special some damn thing is is complicit in the murder of uh, three Sardinians and uh, Mason Mason Verger as far as he knew at the time but it turned out obviously right. we're going to play face mutilation instead it's all self defense those guys out. are those guys are those guys were trying to kill Will. And they they were going to kill he Will. They were. He didn't see they were totally. Yeah, they, they were going to feed Will to the pigs too. Basically, you think so? No, Mason, Mason said, said that. that. Mason said Mason that. said like, yeah. After we, and when he's all drugged up, he's like, of course. After we, after we fed Hannibal to the pigs, we're going to feed you mm -hmm. to the pigs. Yeah. Oh, Mason so, said that I forgot under that. his under his uh, yeah. under his drug uh, dance. So let's get to oh, that. Oh, all right. Well, then that's that. a little more absurd. Uh, less I, gray than I thought. Yeah. No, it's, it's less gray. More yellow, maybe. More yellow. More yellow. yellow and ruffly yeah. at, at every moment. <laughs> uh, I do want to do want to get to that. The whole it's Mason because uh, it doesn't. <laughs> our, our boy Michael Pitt is still doing the damn thing, uh, right? Like he's like, oh yeah, really he gets better and uh, better each episode. We already talked about the you know coming in the office and the you know and the stabbing of the thing, but like uh, the whole notion of. Um, you know Hannibal. This is what sort of what kind of what happens in the books. I think like it's, it's a he did like a mashup of what happens. I think in the books in Hannibal. So there's a there is a bit where if I'm not mistaken, I could be totally mistaken. Internet connect, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that he. It will. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> I think that Hannibal is the one that somehow mutilates uh, Mason Verger, and then later in in the book Hannibal, he does the Ray Liotta thing. Hold where he feeds thing? him. Do we want to hold the book up? No. Hold it's, it's, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Remember? That's right. Sorry. But, I'd appreciate it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Book spoilers. I'm gonna hold the book up. Here book, not sure if that okay. counts. I'll do it. Okay, so I, I I believe that I believe that Hannibal feeds Hannibal and Clarice feed Mason his own brain. The Ray like, Liotta character. Yeah, but but it's not the Ray Liotta character in the movie. It's they a do different the Ray person, in the book. But they it's do the Mason, same thing. If, I, if I'm not mistaken. And book oh, down. Now we're getting deep. Okay, and yeah. book down. So the point is, is that either way they mashed up Mason. What did eat himself? You know, just like in the books. I'm full of myself. And, but also, oh. that was a bad and I can't, impression. No, I'm, why, I'm gonna good. have to work on that. And why could I not? Body's not done. I can still work on it. Why could I not think of anyone but my man Milton from the Blacklist? <laughs> That's an inside Blacklist joke. Milton uh, Bobbitt. Milton Bobbitt. Bobbitt from the Blacklist. The Unpleasant. Like of. Unpleasant. But yeah. So anyway, so that okay. So anyway, that that so they mashed that up. So he did. He gave him the drugs. He suggested a way, he did his ultimate super duper Hannibal Powers of Suggestion, which probably didn't need to suggest that much if he's hopped up on all that junk. Why not? And I mean, yeah, whatever that stuff was, it was not only feel no pain, clearly, he's can, hey, this is fun, but it's also, you know, you know, it's incredibly suggestible. Incredibly, well, it's a hallucinogenic and it's also something else. I forget well, you know, I, I, I've heard, I've heard oh, oh, about certain things. And in hearing about them, I, I yes. don't. My, my my inclination, from what I recall of what I heard of them, yes. is that uh, your first instinct is not to chop your face off. No, so, not, no. Oh, I'm tripping my ass off. I better chop off my face. No. So I mean, there, there's there's clearly we, we we whatever he gave him, um, 
it, it has some power of suggestion stuff. Right. And he, what do you what do you think? A little hypnotosis, a hip, a hypnosis yeah, in between? Maybe it, he didn't make he didn't make them very clear with that with that move Ooh. about uh, phones off the desks, guys. Ooh, 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 iPads are included in that. That goes double for you, Nando. Yeah, Nando. <laughs> um, I've had well, I've had only his Wi-Fi. You know the pigs. They they really like to have the laptops on the desk. Well, that's his Mason imitation. That was pretty yeah. good Mason. Not bad. <laughs> well, you know Mason is honestly he's like. Dark Knight Joker mixed with excited little schoolboy. Yep. Yes, he is. He's all that's all the above. All the above. So like but in that moment, so like in that moment where he uh he, he does he asks he tells Hannibal like, Oh, you should try it on yourself. And like with, with the with the uh the suggestion, first suggestion came when he asked should test I the test fat? to fat? Yeah. And he's like, trust it on yourself. I had no idea it would go to those lengths. Mm. So that next scene in the shadows to just him that oh. how horrifying was that to have Will walk in and see the one dog like What's going on in there? Right. Uh, uh, like, no, 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 wait, no, that, that is a thing. That's, a, that's, like, a, I'm not even that's a Brian Fuller right there. He's like, he's like, listen, I'm gonna give you all one dog that you don't, that, that you're not screwed up about. Winston is gonna be the only dog that did not eat a dude. Winston's like, no, thank you. Like, we're gonna, we'll I've put been waiting the, for you to the, come home all night, right? Dad. You don't believe There's what's going on in there. There's some ish going on back there. <laughs> all the other dogs has them. I didn't have none. I didn't have any. They I, offered me face. I said no face. I would have loved to. I would love to see a Snossages commercial right after that. No. <laughs> but that was pretty. I mean, for, for getting. And know. Will did not bat a flipping eyelash. He's no. like. Well, looks like we're chopping people's faces off. I wish you wouldn't do it in my living room. <laughs> and like and again, like. And I think don't feed that to my dogs. My yeah, precious dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Mason and uh, you know I have to beat this in the ground. We did it last season, but like what they're able to get away with on network television. Mm. You no, know, that that, they're, they're talking about that. Yeah. That, that, that censored like being in the house on that one, and like they going back and forth. They didn't Brian? That, yeah, that interview was interesting. Yeah, on, yeah, uh, yeah. It was Collider, right? Yeah, Collider. yeah. And he was saying that that they have that uh, that that uh, the sensor is basically working with them. Like, yes. okay, this no, okay. yes, no, yes. But a lot was. But what's great about that scene is a lot more was suggested than shown. Mm. If it's one, it's it's very like Hitchcockian and psycho. So it's all, you know, it always there. works yeah. better on yeah, us anyway. Be, you know, better like it's like better. yeah, because you have quicker. shadow. If you look at it again, it's like you hear you hear the sound design. You see the shadow. You see a little bloody yeah. something, oh. but you don't really see really anything. The, the, the nose brain, was pretty clear though. The nose. The no. nose no, no, the nose. You didn't see the nose. You, you, you see said, it. "Feed him your nose," and you see the shadow, and you hear some noises. Yeah, and then you I'm see a hungry. thing. Hungry. Yeah. Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like so that is good really, though. I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah, but uh, but mm. this is a perfect example. Like like Psycho, like you never see a knife. Yeah, train, nothing, never nothing. See anything. Yeah. But in your brain, like she's it's just way got worse mutilated. in your brain than it can never be on screen. But it's amazing what what your brain will do to fill in those gaps. Absolutely. Know? It's like right now I can only I can feel like never mind the shirt comment. I'm sorry, I can I couldn't even get to. It. There's a lot of gaps I'm filling in. It's cold in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that was that was Suck as up, Buttercup. as uh, <laughs> interesting as a sequence as we've seen, right? That's fair. So, uh, but so then so then even in that moment, Will the Will is still ice cold, cool as a cucumber, trying to get this thing to play out like he needs it to play out, right? He's mm. still like. That okay, so you are you gonna it. kill him or what, dude? No, you do it. No, you do no, exactly. You do it. No, you do it. I'm not gonna do it. Not my patient. Yes. No, no, exactly. Not my. It's not yeah, my patient. Yeah, not my patient. Not my problem. And then even Hannibal, forever, not my floor, not my ever, problem. always having the upper hand, says, "Okay, I'll do it." Snap. There's like, no, do what you think is best. He's like, yeah. "Okay, snap." I'm like, "Oh, he killed him. He's not supposed to kill him." But of course, he didn't kill him. He didn't kill him because he's enough. Hannibal. Just enough. Just enough Just to keep her alive. To turn into a real Bond supervillain. Oh, now. man. So so he'll be... So, <laughs> so he'll be stuck in a chair with that mask and, right. and eyeglasses. Oh. And, oh, yeah. I mean, this is like a good... You know, this is... this is They're doing a great job here no, with No, this, this is an origin story of a DC yeah. villain. You're 100% right. This yeah. is, but when yeah. I think of, like, Gary Oldman. You know, Gary Oldman played him in Hannibal. And it's like, you know, it's a great... Like, I'm, now I'm on the Gary Oldman, Michael Pitt, Mason Verger, who did, you know, who did it best. Mm. Or, or the, the Harvey Cattell, uh, you know, um, versus Jack. Versus... Uh, what's his name? Harry Fish, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, Lauren. yeah, Harvey Cattell. Yeah, Harvey Cattell and uh, oh, Scott Glenn. Scott Glenn. Yeah, Scott Glenn. Scott Glenn was in Glenn. The Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. yeah. Harvey Cattell was in Red Dragon. Um, Harvey Cattell. Yeah, he, Harvey Cattell played uh, Jack in Red Dragon. I don't remember the movie as much as I remember the book. Yes. Which I'm uh, rereading. Yes, it's really okay. good stuff. So anyway, so we'll we'll see how all that plays out, and um, you know, it, it's very interesting. I am I did like going back a little bit. I did like that 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 weird three conversation between Hannibal, Will, and and uh, Margot, 
and just you know like as, as sort of like what are we gonna do about this guy kind of conversation <laughs> like what are we gonna do about this mason you know who's gonna get him and uh and even it seemed like willie was even encouraging her it seemed like a very open conversation that included like margo about how um mason needs to die which also reminded me of your that made me think more to like you with your gray area stuff like will here is like his goal is to get Hannibal to kill, but he's also having an open conversation with Margot. Like, like well, saying, I think like, he's got something to say about you know he's got he's he's, he's no he's no fan of Mason in the first place. I mean, right. He wants to get rid of him anyway. Right. I mean, he, did, still... he did kill his unborn child, yeah. even though he didn't really necessarily right. want to have a kid. But I mean, he was getting he was warming up to the idea. Warming up to the idea. And the evil surgeons, the evil team of uh, surgeons. Where did for they hire. find these guys? Left I don't know. the nastiest scar of the, all time. Yeah, left the scar. They could, they could have did laparoscopic. Laparoscopic. Wanted to give it a reminder. Easy for me to say. Yeah. Bedelia de Maurier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bedelia de Maurier. <laughs> Bedelia de Maurier had laparoscopic yeah. surgery. Wow. <laughs> That's a first. That was impressive. I, lo- I love her in this episode, and I love I love that scene with her and Jack where he comes out and he's like, "So you got yourself immunity?" And she's like, "Yep." And yeah. it was like that was yeah. just her posture. She's like lean back, like, yeah. Cross, like, I yeah. own this scene. And have you seen my insanely red dress? Yes, mm. and my beautiful legs. But uh, I love, but I love also in that scene since we're bringing that scene, just what she said about. Hannibal's biggest crime is his influence, is, is is that he witnesses influence. And it works best when we're unaware, but Will is incredibly unaware. Uh, uh, incredibly aware. 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 And so Will may not know himself as well as Hannibal, Hannibal does. does. I think that right. was a brilliant, brilliant analysis by De Maurier. Right. Mm-hmm. And, She's and, some and sort of therapist. also got Jack's wheels turning. This is, this is what I got like, wait a minute. Yeah. Is Will safe? I'm, I'm sending Will to the lion's den. Maybe mm. Will's not safe. Maybe Will's not trustworthy. You know, maybe that's what leads him to going, and I'll handle this myself. Yeah. I'll get him in the kitchen. Who knows? Not a good idea. <laughs> Who knows? But I also yeah. feel very satisfied in the fact that they revealed what happened to her. Hmm. You know how right. well, last season we were we were postulating about or what like could was, possibly yeah. happen. Yeah. Who the was this, patient it was, this was season, that killed her. So now oh, seems, oh, this is, yes, yes, yes. Yes, so <laughs> now it seems that Hannibal was playing the same exact game, game with her that he's playing with and, Will. But now that. maybe he's and just with up the mistakes. Other patient. He's learned from his mistakes yeah. with her. And now he's moved on to Will and trying it again. Oh, he's playing and, a more interesting game. Well, yes. but, but here, well, here's the question for that: Who does Will truly love that Hannibal would want to persuade him to kill? And I, I would think that would be Alana or Abigail. Well, Abigail, <gasps> because she's alive. Because she's alive in inside the Baltimore Just steam wait. tunnels in Just the thing. Wait. Do you want to make a bet, yellow shirt? No, I don't want to make any <laughs> more <laughs> bets. <laughs> and where's uh, I don't want to make one thing, no more bets. But you know, one thing. No I, more bets. I, one other thing I want to I want to just go back to that line about um, Demorier telling Jack about you know maybe maybe Hannibal knows more about Will. I th- I think what happened earlier this season with Will being in the hospital and Hannibal not having control over Will and all this stuff happening. In the prison, like Will just planning all this stuff without Hannibal being able to uh, go there because Shilton locked him out, mm-hmm. is happening now to Jack. Now that Will and Hannibal have this speak, we've been seeing this uh, in the past couple of weeks when they're all in the same room and we see Will and Hannibal seem to have this communication, this this, this uh, language that Jack is clearly out of the loop on. And now here's DeMaurier just pretty much saying, you know, like maybe Will is maybe Will doesn't really, you know, isn't really the person you think he is. Maybe Hannibal knows him more, and I love that because there's a couple of times in this uh, episode they talk about being alone, about people being alone, about Will being alone ultimately, especially with the whole De Maurier, um analysis that uh, that you know Hannibal had her kill somebody she loved, and you know it's all about Hannibal. Hannibal wants to get rid of everybody else and have him the focus. And Will even says, we're both alone unless we're together. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I think right now it's beautiful, but Jack truly is the one that's alone right now, and that's possibly what's going to set him off next week, I would say. But at least he has, he knows that Will is undercover, and he knows that, they ha- that they're he building this, does and he know knows that, that they're talking over his head. But he also has, well, I mean, I think his... his he doesn't understand what he they're He doesn't saying. understand what they're saying, but he also feels, again, he's out on a limb, and that limb's about to break, and, yeah. and maybe he's, maybe Will's in he's deeper than he knows. Yeah, boy. which is what we were mm. talking about the past couple of weeks, what you still feel, you know, Mr. Yellowshirt, uh, about... My know, emotions but, have been tempered by my T-shirt, <laughs> by my tank top. <laughs> Uh, I'm really, I, I really just am so fascinated by this whole, um, uh, wait, wait, yes, Achilles, I'm sorry, 
Um, <laughs> yeah, no, Achilles. Achilles. I'm, I'm almost, I almost said Icarus. But uh, yeah. <laughs> this, whole Achilles, this Achilles reference, because I really just sort of feel like that is sort of the key, the ultimate mm-hmm. key to their relationship, you know, and, and maybe even the key, maybe even a clue to, you know, the demise of Hannibal. And I, and I love that it, it it's, I just think that's just a, so perfect. And I want to, you know, give uh, fuller props for bringing that for mm. bringing that up. I love that. Um, I just want, one, one last thing I do want to mention about it, what we mentioned was, you know, the fate of, of Mason Verger uh, having Margot be his caretaker. Uh, what do you think Margot's going to, you know, what's going to happen with Margot there? <laughs> like, I mean, Mar- in terms of Margot, like, is the, to being able to torture him, like, I'm his caretaker. She that was very, exact some revenge. very, very, well, she, 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 she let's l- talk about what that. Margot wants. Yes. Uh, all right, let's get into some predictions real quick. So before we can get, so we can get out of here. And now your After Buzz TV predictions. Uh, Julia. First of all, I want to give myself props because nobody else will about yeah, the fact won't. that I predicted that Bedelia de Maurier was going to come back. Yes. Nobody else said that. You were right. I did. I've been distracted. Right. And <laughs> piggybacking off of that, yes. I believe that Abigail's going to come back. Okay, fair enough, Joe. Mm-hmm. I also believe Abigail's going to come back. Oh. 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 That's all you got? Now that means your prediction is good for crap because I'm clearly not very good at predictions. <laughs> so sure. um, unless you piggyback upon mine, that might be my work. Right. Um, and and I also I also do not think that that uh, you know what I don't have any more predictions. Yeah, That's no. it. <laughs> uh, you know I don't really. I guess Abigail. It does feel like Abigail's going to come back. So I'm just going to piggyback <laughs> off okay. of that. I, I think Abigail. For so the first and... time when you were first, you were piggyback off on you. And so uh, that's that's all good. I'm always first on him. At this point, it's more of a pile than a piggyback. We're going to see everyone. <laughs> Mando, don't even try. Just like okay, throw, throw your rocks at him. I, the, I know you got ammo there. We're gonna see everyone. We're gonna see. We're gonna see uh, Abigail. I think we'll also we'll see Miriam last as well. Are uh, you under the assumption Abigail's alive? Yeah, this is our. This is that's our how assumption. we're functioning up in then, here. Then I want to say that Abigail's gonna come back in a very bad state. In that she's going to die as soon as she comes back, or she's going to come back as a body that had died very recently, like an hour ago, and they find her that way. Well, I think, as I stated a, a moment ago, I think Abigail might be the one that Hannibal is going saving to for Will to kill. Will, Will to, to kill. Killing. Well, influence, not coerce. That's not it. Yeah, it's it's persuade. 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 Oh, to kill. because that's what you said. It's someone you love. Someone you love. Yes. Oh, oh. Like she's she's tortured. Yeah. That's that's it. That's the that's a that's the one. You're a winner. That's horrible. You are a winner. Next episode. Whoa. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Brian Fuller did say bloodbath, so we'll see. Joe, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on the Twitter. at Joe Flippo, J-O-E-F-L-I-P-O, and my website is josephsanflippo.com. And shopping at Forever 21. Yes. I <laughs> hate you, Lemieux. Uh, Julia, where can we find you? Uh, find me on Twitter and on Instagram with my name, Julia Carely, J-U-L-I-A-C-E-A-R-L-E-Y. Nando. Nando Velasquez on Twitter. And, uh, sorry, Nando Vell on Twitter. Oh. N-A-N-D-O-V-E-L. I added something there. Uh, and a bunch of shows here on After Buzz, including 24 and Orphan Black. Yep, I'm Joe Brown as well. You can find me at Twitter and Instagram on Twitter and Instagram at Joe K Braswell. Uh, I'll have some pictures of Joe Sanfilippo looking lovely. <laughs> if you want to check him out on my on my Instagram and Twitter, and uh, that's all I got. Uh, we'll see you next week for the, the finale. finale. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs> <laughs>